Hello YouTubies, this is King Scribe. Now I'd like to talk about Sock Puppet accounts. I have spoken about this a bit before, but I'd like to go in a bit more detail. So what are Sock Puppets? Sock Puppets are accounts that are made on social networks whose prime objective is to self-promote the maker. Sometimes it's used for defense and attack weapons. So let's say you're under an attack from another YouTuber, you might have a sock puppet account that back you up. For instance, they might make videos saying that this guy's actually great and this sort of guy's lying and they'll make some points that look fairly reasonable. And this is used as a defensive platform. It can also be used on Facebook. Let's say your cult-like uh, system is under attack. You would make a sock puppet account on Facebook for different purposes. So some of them will come to your defense and some of them will be attacking others and yet others will be self-promotion. It gets a little bit more complicated than that, to be honest. I mean, it's not that simple. How do they work? Well, what happens is, let's say you have a big YouTuber called Tobacus. Now, I remember this YouTube channel beginning years ago. He would literally friend every single person he could find on YouTube and uh, send a little message as if they're friends. And this would encourage people to subscribe to him. Or, well, and on a so far. I mean, people seem to be deluded enough to actually think that they're communicating to a real person. And then what happens is they create these sock puppet accounts for the uh, YouTube channels. Now, let's say you, you just started out, you're, you're going to become a big YouTuber, but you want to do it the fastest and the easiest way because you've got to get the attention. And this is how these people actually think. So what they do is they create sock puppet YouTube channels. And they also, on Facebook, make a real channel that links to the YouTube channel and then make maybe hundreds, even thousands of sock puppet accounts on Facebook with fake profiles and some kind of real personalities. So for instance, you would, you would infiltrate the gay community, a Facebook profile that pretends to be homosexual. But it's not as simple as that. What they do is they post pictures of this fake person who doesn't exist. So people think they're really talking to a person. They may morph several people together and then Photoshop it so it looks like a real person. You might Photoshop Brad Pitt with, you know, somebody you know. So nobody can be traced. Next thing what they do is communicate with many people online, but they must make that account look real. They first friend very popular people on Facebook. So people who would expect to be friended, they wouldn't question, oh, this person's friending me, let me have a look at his Facebook page. Oh, look, he's got no friends. They won't do that. They expect to be friended. So they just add people willy-nilly. And this means that when people look at you later, they say, oh, he's got like 100 friends, even though all these friends are very well-known people, or at least moderately well-known online. But it doesn't register with people, so they just add you later. And you may have been commenting on people's pages and people be able to identify it from that Facebook page. But there's a bigger secret to this, because what happens is over time, this account builds up to the maximum amount of friends because people are just added all the time. And you will get around about 80% or let's say 10% of those who will be regular comments on your Facebook page. So what happens with that? Well, after a while, you, you're talking about gay stuff and whatnot, uh, you start promoting your own videos and your own content through that page, through that profile. Yeah, so it's got a maximum amount of friends and they're saying, oh, I'll take a look at this guy. You know, he's, he's just wrote an interesting book. Ah, uh, this is an interesting video. I'm really starting to like this guy. And over time, that makes people feel comfortable with the other individual who is really controlling the sock puppet account. So they've gained the trust of other people who now think this account is real 
and now they're promoting, they're using that sock puppet as a sort of zombie to promote at will their own work. Sometimes it will come into the defense of that individual and sometimes for attack reasons, but they won't use some of these accounts for attack or defense. Some of them are just used for self-promotion. Some of them are used for defensive purposes and some are used for attack. So they, they, they have the shit together on YouTube. This is why it's very difficult to fight people who are very manipulative on the internet. They can manipulate it very, very well. You've got to be very careful with what you do. So they create one Facebook profile, but that's not enough. So they make out the lesbian. Even though they may be male, they make out they're lesbian now. So they may morph uh, several females together to produce a new female who doesn't exist, so nobody can be traced. And now they're going around pretending to be a female. They might pretend to be a female runner or ball player or, or pool player or maybe somebody who likes swimming. They'll, they'll create maybe 50 odd pages of females. Now, some of them are pretty rubbish and don't know what they're doing, but the real sneaky ones will pass. They will pass through it undetected. People won't expect a thing. They will add friends again. They will add the most popular friends first to expect to be friended. And then they will start to add people. But of course they will build up, they will make the channel look like it, well, the Facebook page look like it's real. And after doing this so many times on different topics, because you want it on many topics, so you've got, uh, you've got the advertisement coming in from different directions. Uh, it's all weaving up, you know, weaving up like a web. And it's all coming in from different directions. All these accounts will be working together to promote the individual created it. Not all the time, because that would be too obvious, but some of the time. Some of them will pretend to be trolls, you know, funny people who would like to go into attack and defense. They'll promote and do the attack and defense. Some of them will be very mature kind of channels or Facebook pages and pretend uh, to just like the advertisements and they, they won't get involved with all the drama and say this is wrong. In fact, they may be critical of some of the work of the, you know, the sock puppet master who's actually controlling them because it's all about drama. Another thing is, the YouTube channels, how does this come into it? Uh, sometimes it's about books, sometimes they want to sell books, but they want to garner attention for YouTube channels. Well, what happens there is, uh, you know, with some people, they used to have friends and this would create a network, so to speak, because people, some of the people would actually subscribe and start watching. But uh, most of the time they would do it through the other social networking. Uh, but they would also need sock puppets on the YouTube channel and maybe even Twitter accounts that are sock puppets that are adding to other people in different kinds of groups. Uh, for instance, with Twitter, you, you, might be, they might, you might be pretending to be a teenager, maybe a teenage girl or somebody who's disabled or many different uh, categories and you will start using that account to promote to, their, to that audience their own work. Yeah, so the, the guy who created it will start to promote his work through that, weaving it up like a web. This is what Sock Puppets is all about. It's not about trolling, it's about self-promotion, yeah? Then you have YouTube, and this is where it gets really, really cunning, yeah? They will make a YouTube channel, uh, they will make some videos, some of them will be pretty good, not all the time will they be good, but some of them will be pretty good. And um, they would want people to actually watch these videos. How can you do that? Nobody's going to see the videos because you're not well known on YouTube yet, but you're very well known on Facebook through many different uh, personalities and personas. Yeah, it's even sex changes and uh, bloody races. You might not even be the same race on some of your pages. All right. Uh, you might even be transvestite or whatnot. It could be anything. But you will start to promote your work on, on YouTube through these accounts very subtly. You wouldn't want to make it too obvious. And you would open up these uh, YouTube channels now that are going to act like sock puppet accounts. Their prime purpose is to comment on your videos 
to like your videos and also to up the view count. There was a time when they would actually come on YouTube and just refresh the page hundreds of times until they would have hundreds upon hundreds of views very early on. Now they can just buy subscriptions and they can also buy views, etc. and also likes. This also happens. But when they create these soft puppet accounts, the, the, somebody said to me a very long time ago who happened to be who happened to turn out to molest a child of, what was it, six years old, and turns out to be an absolute sociopath. Uh, but he actually explained something to me before he left. He said, uh, Mark, you're doing it all wrong. I mean, you're not promoting yourself uh, good enough. I mean, this guy had 35,000 subscribers at the time. He said, what you need to do is, you need to create sock puppet accounts to advertise your work. I said, well, you know, that would be... It'd be like uh, me talking to myself online. That doesn't make any sense. And he says, well, if you're coming to somebody's YouTube channel video, would you watch a video with five views, maybe one like and one comment, or maybe no likes and no comments? Or would you watch one of the same content with 1,500 views, 35 comments, and 100 likes? Which one are you more likely to comment on? Which one are you more likely to watch? Which one are you more likely to get involved with? You, obviously the answer is you would actually start talking to the people who are commenting on that video. And that is where the sock puppet accounts come in to play. Because they will have different personalities, you know, different sexes. They're all the same person, but they, they pretend to be somebody else. And it's just to make the uh, channel look more popular because they want the attention. Because when pe new people come in, they will say, oh, this person's already well established. You must be okay. Subscribe. Like. Good. And this is something I won't do. Uh, but this is what big YouTubers do. This is what Tobacco's used to do. This is what Fred used to do online. This is how they actually work. Very, very cunning. Now the sock puppet accounts come into play on Facebook. They come into play on Twitter, on Instagram. They start promoting this person subtly, not in every single post. That would be too bloody fucking obvious, but you know, often enough. And because they're involved in different groups like homosexuality, running, uh, disabled groups, uh, difficulty of hearing groups, uh, feminist rights, MG, mental groups, male activist groups, uh, you know, anti-feminist groups, even, fe you know, feminist, every single group you can think of, because they want to interweave it into, uh, they want to interweave it, so, uh, that's not even a word, but they want to web it up, so the interest is coming in from all angles to their own channel, and that's how they grow very quickly, because if you're a sock puppet account on Facebook, you can grow much faster than your own account because you can add people whenever you want and people will not expect a single thing. In fact, many of you have been tested on Facebook by myself and you don't know about it, yeah? If people don't realize just how, uh, I'm not saying devious, but I'm doing a fun experiment, but I can tell you for a fact that anybody can fake a Facebook account. Anybody can do it. And that's a worrying factor. And it becomes even more devious later when you realize that uh, some of these fakeries can be so good, so cunning, that you would not even recognize that these are fake accounts. In fact, I could create a Facebook page with a woman's face uh, that's been morphed from several different people and then give her a voice even a face on YouTube, and it could still be me. Well, how does that work? Well, some people would actually say, well, how would you actually go about that? Well, you would use voice software to change your voice to a woman. <laughs> yeah. And then suddenly you're backing yourself up. People think, oh, this is, a real, this is a real account. It's not. This is a real person. You know, they're, they're looking out with the, uh, the, the, the video on YouTube with the the resolution is so low in quality 
that a perspective, well, you know, a fake face, you know, you can buy these uh, sort of masks nowadays that look like real faces uh, on on video. It's it's very, I mean, it's quite expensive, but it can happen. They could actually create uh, new people up that you would never expect. This is something I've known about for a long time, but uh, people in the alternative media probably know about it, but uh, I'm not talking about it, of course. Uh, because it's a very dangerous thing because you could end up getting a lot of psychopaths doing it uh, You could also get very manipulative people doing it too uh, Trolls you, trolls are good, right? People people mis misunderstand a troll a troll's purpose in life on YouTube and the internet and in Anywhere is to raise awareness of bad things happening, but they do it in the wrong way sometimes, you know, they they act like dicks online. The people who act like the biggest dicks online are the people I respect most. I mean, you look like pe you. I mean, think about it. You look at people uh, like um, Rick the Yid. I'm not sure it's called Rick the Yid. He's a uh, Rick the Vid or something like that. Uh, he's called Trevor, and uh, he does some really good videos. But you know, he swears on his channel. He does all sorts of things, and people, you know, would expect this person is a bad person that he's not there's another person i know on youtube called watchdog central and that when i had problems years ago when i actually closed my channel down because you know i couldn't be bothered just talking about one subject he was very supportive strangely enough he acts like a bit of a a git on youtube sometimes you know he might even upset people but you know when you need these people they're there and there are some people who act like angels, they, they won't come to your defense, ever, when you need them. So, trolls can actually be better than you think, yeah? I mean, I, I knew somebody called Ryan on uh, YouTube years ago. We used to, we used to troll each other. Uh, he was the first subscriber of my new channel. <laughs> it's, it's not what you think. A troll purpose is to... Um, you know, raise awareness, really. They don't know... They, they, they don't really know what they're doing. But in the end, they turn out to be good people. You meet them in real life, you're likely to like them. You know, the people who like to wind people up, they're not the bad guys on YouTube. They're just the people who are just attacking people who end up being like dickheads. Yeah, you know, nasty people online. But, you know, sock puppet counts, they're, they're real. Yeah, I, I've even used them on occasion for a laugh. They're real. I'm doing experiment at the moment, finding out... Uh, just how far I can take a sock puppet account and there's more than you expect, but I'm not using it to self-promote I'm not using it to attack anybody as such or defend myself for any reason I'm just using it as experiment and it's working in fact my sock puppet account Well several of my sock puppet accounts on Facebook are more popular than my own account my own real account even though they're fake as fuck Why Be because people like fake accounts they like uh, they they like people who they think are perfect or people who happen happen to be beautiful or whatnot. Yeah, they're, they're attracted to that sort of person. You know, I might I might clone myself with uh, Brad Pitt and uh, George Clooney or something like that and create a new sock puppet account. So all the women coming on my channel going, yeah, I like you, I like you. Uh, what what Freddie Hot Hotes or something like that. I mean that would work. People would actually follow that, that sort of uh, account on Facebook. They, they like fakery online. They don't realize that, but they, they're, they're attracted to groups, to cults. And this is a problem. You know, they, where real people online, I'd, it, it's hard to say, but I don't think many people are being themselves online. I think people tend to be fake. You know, it's, it's a worrying trend. I, I, you know, I'm looking at the the YouTube channels I'm seeing, and I can tell some of these accounts have been, um, you know, flooded by sock puppets, have been advertised by sock puppets. I, I question how some of these YouTubers became famous in the first place. And the truth of the matter is, they cheated their way up. They 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 cheated their way up very very cunningly. I mean, I I was shocked when I learned how it was actually done. You know, I thought what was simple was actually very complicated. It was self-promotion. They were trying to trick the algorithms on YouTube and Facebook so they get viewed more. 
because once you get reach a certain threshold YouTube considers you popular and if it considers you popular you're much more likely to be featured by YouTube themselves or at least on their database they will put you up right up on the top of the search set settings as soon as you make a video this is this is a distinct advantage to these YouTube channels it's a distinct advantage to anybody who happens to be you know making content like uh, books or videos that they're selling uh, they, they would use sock puppet accounts to sell promote so they would become more popular than they would normally be just on their own I mean think about it this is how, this is how, this stuff has been going on for a very long time people have been so badly bloody fucking manipulated by the system that they're easily molded by trolls online they're easily molded by people who like to self-promote themselves and it's happening you you believe it's not happening it really is happening it's not cia stuff it's not fbi stuff these are people who are interested in one thing and one thing only attention and money yeah you've got to be very careful with what you see online i can tell you right now that uh, many of the accounts on facebook that you see are sock puppets especially you're going on to a well-known page yeah most of these i mean i've seen things from you know pakistan on people like the amazing atheist you know i'm seeing people like that on uh channels such as the amazing atheist uh, facebook page it gets worse when you look at the Illumin illuminati page that was created by some some dork uh, who happens to have connections to the police uh, he he has uh, so many uh, Facebook sock puppet accounts it's unbelievable that's how he's actually got famous because usually a pot smoking uh, weed head that like that would not get very far yeah they just wouldn't get that far these people are very conniving and you you got to keep your wits about you if you, if you really want to know how to wake up from the system, you really want to know it, this is how you do it. You need to, the people to watch are people who like to fix things, DIYers, uh, people who like to make things, artists, people who like to teach you how to write properly, how to swim, how to run properly. These are the people who you should be watching, not the alternative media stuff. Because most of that's being infiltrated by trolls who want money. I mean, people talking about this FBI stuff and all this uh, government agency. Yes, they're involved to a certain extent, but they're not the whole story. Yeah, uh, The Flat Earthers, for instance, that was uh, very connivingly done. Uh, they, they were using tremendous amounts of sock puppet accounts to promote that. Uh, you have a look on their YouTube channels, the... The, the, the comments were repeated in every single video. Yeah, the same person, YouTube channel making a comment like, this video is awesome, I really, really like you, uh, would make it in other videos all over the place. So that's obviously botted to hell. And what botted is, uh, is a, a program that uh, wrote, so it comments on videos that you choose. It's, it's operated by... Uh, an algorithm rather than a person it's very very clever the way it's done it, it, it goes much further than that so obviously don't have time for talking about the whole thing but uh, you've got to be very careful with what you see on YouTube as being fake or real I mean most of the, most of the stuff you see on YouTube is all about entertainment it's the same online it's just about entertainment it's nothing else people like to be entertained online it's not about waking you up it's not about uh you know i mean most it's it's worse than that most of it's just about making money yeah and wh when you realize just how devious uh the upper youtubers are and the people who uh, are really running the show uh, you will be shocked at just the, the the systems they are using against you. Yeah, I, I I could I could go on in this video telling you about the secrets of uh, 
you know, malicious individuals online who have got big on YouTube and how they've actually done it. But uh, we'll save that for another video. Anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye for now. See you later.